up everybody there again welcome to team arm getting their work uh here with another video today we're going to talk about shared the fan again we're going to talk about what my plan is so i'm going to call this video the shit hit the plan the shit hit the fan plan I made a video like this in the past but i'm going to you know talk about it again because everybody on youtube seems to have a plan for shared the fan uh, basically, though, uh, you know, I'm gonna start with the basics. Um, I have firearms, as everybody knows, and there's a lot of people on YouTube that also has firearms. And uh, basically, I, I want to have enough firearms where I can have spares, and I'll cover that in a separate video. I have a usage for uh, for each of my weapons and and whatever guns I have now I also have a usage for them, you know currently, so you know they'll 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 have their own place. But I don't you know uh, I don't want to have too many weapons, you know what I'm saying like like I I did have a, a shitload of guns that I did want, but I you know it really doesn't make any sense to have that many. You know what I mean I mean this don't get me wrong. It's good to have a lot of guns. I'm not saying that it's not, but what I'm what I'm saying is when it comes to stuff like that, like shit hitting the fan. You know, what I, mean? I mean, when it comes down to it, all you can shoot is two guns. You know, you only got two hands. You know, but that's what I'm saying. Why it's good to have a few spare of each caliber. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, let's say you have a main gun. Let's say your main gun is a Taurus, and then you know you have a Taurus. 40 cal, and then your man, and then you got two spare 40 calibers in case one of them is out of commission. You got two more, one for you. You got your wife; she might need a 40 cal, or you know what I mean, stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, my plan is this: it's it's real simple, cause you can't really plan. It's not it's, there's never really enough planning for things like that, you know, cause you might plan something and it might not go the way you you said it was gonna, you know, be it might go a totally different route. But, you know, my plan is, let's say this shit defense scenario number one breaks out that I talked about in the shit defense video, meaning if the government came to take my, um, well, you know what, no, no, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna cover that one, because those two right there are the least to happen. But the possibility for those happening is still there. So we're going to cover the one that's most likely to happen first. You know, because actually each shit hit the fan scenario. Two of them are closely linked together. Because if you, you know, the gun confiscation scenario might come after the economic collapse. You know, so they like coincide with each other. Those two you know, move, move, move parallel, you know, so if, if economic collapse comes, the government might try to impose a martial law, because it's going to get crazy out here, so they're going to want to confiscate guns, and that's going to give, it's going to be even worse if they try to do that, and because you know it's not going to, it's not going like that, so I say, let's work, let's talk about the third scenario, yeah, economic collapse, now if that happens, what will we all do, well, what will a gun nut do, well, that's why now I'm starting to save up for stuff, you know, my ham radio tents, uh, the little pills you drop in the water, you know, to, to, to you know, uh, chlorify the water, purify it, if it's a little dirty, murky, or whatever, uh, food, and some people say, well, you know, well, food, you know, where you gonna store it, and well, I'm gonna cover that in another video. So just 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 watch the network, and um, you'll see each topic pop up. Um, besides that, I'm not gonna venture outside the home. A lot of people have bug out bags for when it's good to have that. By the way, a bug out bag, but that's the last resort for me. Your home is your fort, and I feel like your first line of defense, the safest place you probably could be in economic collapse is home because you have all this ammo stored up where you gonna why would you leave your house and you got tons of ammo in there a what could happen is someone could break in your house when you leave take all your ammo b oh i mean b 
you leave the house, you can't take all the ammo with you. You only can take what, let's say you got a bunch of mag pouches, you got the, the vest, you can put the AK mags on and all type of things. You can carry a lot of mags, but eventually you'll run out, you know, and you, you have no more ammo to go run to. You, you, have, you can hold more ammo in your house than you can hold on your body, that's what I'm saying. You know, eventually you're going to run out of ammo in the house too if you're, if you're shooting at people trying to break in through your balcony or through your, you know, each side of your house. You're going to be shooting at people. Your ammo is still going to run out. I don't care how much ammo we save up. You know, we, we can save up 10,000 rounds of ammo. We're still going to run out if we're doing enough shooting. You know what I mean? Rather than hunting and then you got to figure out a way what you're going to do to get more ammo because you're going to need that ammo. So that's why it's good to have calibers, you know, you, you trade and barter system might come into play a lot during the shape defense situations also. You know, uh, basically that's why I'm sticking with the main calibers. You're going to catch, you know, you'll find me with a, with, a, with, a, with a couple of guns that, probably one or two guns, that's it. That'll be a little bit of less common caliber, like uh, I'm getting a 10 millimeter uh, and also... Um, I'm thinking about a, yeah, well, 10 millimeter definitely on the list, and I'm thinking about also getting a, um, a 357 Sig, but I, I don't know yet, I don't know yet, but the 10 millimeter is definitely, I mean, that's coming. Actually, no, it wasn't 357 Magnum, it was the 44 Magnum, I mean, not 357 Sig, the 44 Magnum, I have a 357 Magnum already, there's no need for me to buy another 357 Magnum. I have a good one, which I'll be reviewing on my Gunnut 1980 channel, so check that out. Uh, so, this is my home. This is where I'm going to defend my family with, or if I'm alone, I'm defending myself. Once I run out of my resources, you have no choice but to venture outside to go get more resources. Rather that be food, ammo, water, whatever. You have to venture out because you're going to run out of supplies eventually. So you gotta go outside. So you see that you're going out there to hunt and you know, hunt little critters and you know, squirrels going to do what you gotta do to eat, you know, or you're going out there to to barter, or you're gonna see people out there pillaging that through other people's stuff and that's not what I'll do. I refuse to pillage in my fellow neighbors' uh, belongings because that's just not the way it's supposed to be. If I'm gonna pillage in somebody's stuff, it's gonna be those fucking cock face congressmen that put us in that situation in the first place they deserve to get hung by their fucking necks but um basically yeah you gotta you gotta go out there and venture but I wouldn't go out there if I don't have to so if I have to know if I have to be a nomad after a while then I'll bring my bug out bag and um, maybe as far as my ammo that I have home I'll have to probably try to take as much of it as I can you don't want it to, you know, you don't want to have too much stuff on to fatigue yourself, but I would probably have to find somewhere where I can bury my ammo somewhere where nobody saw me bury it. I think a shovel is another good thing to have too. Um, sorry, I got a cold. So, basically, that's, that's what I would do. I mean, I would have to, my situation is to stay home and, and, and hermit my, and be, be a hermit. Basically, because you don't want to be out there. It's dangerous. You don't want to be out there. So I'd rather stay home where it's a little safer at. And then when the trouble, if the trouble comes my way, I deal with it with my ammo. Um, if I run out of ammo, which shouldn't really happen right away, then I have to go find some ammo. Rather, it's, you know, asking people, you do have this, I have this to trade for that, or I can't afford to trade for some ammo, or... Go, you know, look into an old, a old broken in gun store, which will probably be empty anyway. Or, you know, you see people laying in the street. It's like on a video game. You see people laying in the street dead. Their gun somewhere. You pick it up. It just sounds like a video game, but I'm, I'm serious with all of this that I'm saying. It, it, it is very possible. This is very, very likely. I don't want this to happen because if it does, it's gonna get ugly. And I'm, I'm telling you, I don't want to see people hurting each other. And I would say this, you know, I would tell people, look, instead of you and us hurting each other, let's go up there to the White House and, and let's go get them. You know, let's, let's, let's get them that put us all in this situation. And it didn't have to be that way. So that basically what Gunnut's plan is, stay home, do what I got to do, 
Everybody break in, defend my home. I run out of resources. I have to go out and forage for things. Then I bring a bug out bag, and then I'll take it from there. I'll probably have to find somewhere to bury my ammo because if I leave my home, no one's here to defend it. Someone could break in and take my ammo. And then I have to start all over again, go back out and find more ammo. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to think about these things, man. You know, it's it's never a set, a set plan because something could go wrong. You're like, oh, I didn't, it didn't go the way I wanted it to go. But basically, that's pretty much what my plan is. So tell me what you would do. Or make a reply video to it, to this video. This is Gut Nut, Team Armageddon Network. I'll see y'all on the next one, peeps.